Welcome to the Ball to You Fall Fans League show. Please enjoy this exclusive interview with Jeremy Daniel. They see a hoop belt, then they shit when I ball. AM to the PM on my planet till I fall. Swishing is the mission, double double when I'm done. Rolling like the mellow with a dish by the foot. Till I fall, ball till you fall. Till you fall, ball, ball till you fall. Till I fall. discussions regarding um, a few things that we're thinking about changing. Uh, the first topic, Damron, first of all, welcome to the show, man, and thanks for uh, joining me tonight. Um, but the first thing is um, we're going to talk about having utility slots instead of point guard, shooting guard, small fort slots, just having all utility spots. So, Damron, um, I personally am considering this rule if everybody votes okay on it because I don't feel like we need positions. I just feel like if you want to have you know, hell, five centers and two point guards, I, I think you should have the freedom to do that. And I feel like it's fair because everybody has a draft where you pick who you want. So it's not like it could be unfair and, you know, Dermon loads up on Embiid and loads up on Patel and loads up on Jokic. Everybody, everybody can pick the best players still. I don't think it changes anything. So what do you think about the utility spot? I mean, I, I kind of like that because uh, a lot of the players in the NBA now can play one through five. I mean, you got – the game's changed in the last 10 years. Uh, I mean, you still you, you still get the same amount of points for a double-double, whether it's double-digit points, double-digit assists, or points and rebounds. So you still get the same amount of points. Uh, I kind of like it. All right, so the other thing um, I wanted to talk about was possibly um, editing rosters when people make mistakes three times a year. Um, I want to be able to edit somebody's roster who forgot to manage it due to – a circumstance. It's not something I want to do all the time, but I figure three times a year, if something happens, um, you know, I can go in there and manage it. So, Damron, what do you think about the possibilities of changing that rule? I, I mean, I, I, I don't like that. Uh, me, personally, I mean, I've been in this league for at nine, ten years, however long it's been going on. I always set my stuff up on a, on a usually a week out, and if I had a player, I got I got to go in there and change it. Uh, I know this past week I, I probably would have lost to Jerry if that was the case because Jerry didn't didn't do his <laughs> roster and <laughs> I was uh, I was very thankful that he uh, that Jerry did not complete his roster so uh, it worked, Christmas, out, right? worked worked out well for me but uh, so yeah I mean you just you just got it I mean it's not hard to do I mean it's so I I don't know that's true I got you all right so last one um, we talked uh, on a text message thread regarding. Uh, the old spot. Um, I was thinking about possibly having two old spots due to uh, COVID restrictions that we're all dealing with with the NBA and you know, NFL is even dealing with it. I don't know if you heard about Odell Beckham um, and a bunch of Rams players. They're, everybody's going to be out. Um, so it looks like this wave is really, really coming around. So what do you think about the possibilities of having a, a few extra old spots to get through this season? I mean, I would have liked it nine and a half weeks ago. I liked Reeves' idea uh, when he texted Jerry. Uh, I thought that it would have been great at the beginning of the season, but we're, I mean, we're nine and a half weeks in, a 19-week season. Uh, I, I just, I mean, I, I've had guys on the bench since mid-November because I'm sitting on them. They're injured. You know, I don't want to drop them. I've got guys this week that are, that are, uh, that they've postponed two games for COVID protocol, and they're not on the IR, so it wouldn't even matter. Uh and, it, and that's that's COVID related. I, I mean, I don't even know if the NBA knows really how to how to manage this. Uh, I, I mean, I, I just think having another hour. I mean, I, I, I can make it work if that's what everyone wants to do. But that, that's my my big uh, heartburn. I think also uh, I, I ran some numbers. I'm I'm a numbers guy. Please bring me my number. Uh, if you take the top ten players uh, that are on the uh, open player list right now, players you could add. 
uh, they average anywhere from 28 to 20 points. You're going to pull all 10 of those players out because people are going to throw another guy the IR, and you're going to have 10 less people from the open players to pull from. And I – I think that's a, has a lot to do with why our league's so competitive this year. We we have a great you have a great selection of players. Uh, that it's always changed. I mean, it's it's awesome to see how many people are are adding and dropping people, and you're getting 30, 35 points sometimes out of those those reserve players that are sitting over there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you're you're going to lose those. You're going to lose ten players because you're going to have you're going to have ten, another guy on the IR on every team, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, you're going to lose ten players off of. That, that are available to, to choose from on a daily basis. So I'm all about the people, man. I'm all about, you know, we're only as good as, our, the, you know, the people that play in our league. So um, as I took over uh, as commissioner for Jerry, man, what I wanted to do is I wanted everybody who's playing to have a voice. So um, in your opinion, if there was anything that you can change that I have not done yet, what would it be that you would change if you were commissioner? It's like, I'm, I'm going to make this, you know, you know, relevant. As soon as I take over as commissioner, what would you do differently? Well, well, no. I, first, I want to thank you because I'm the only person that objected, and you you said, "Hey, you want to call us talk about it?" Uh, to me, that's awesome. That's badass. I mean, you can say, "Hell with you, Dameron. You're the only one. We're the we're going we're going this direction." But you want to set up call and talk to me? I think that's great. Uh, but I, I mean, I like the creativity. Uh, there's probably nothing uh, I, I wouldn't change. I mean, we, we all live too far apart to really get together. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's going great. I, I, I love the show, the format of the show with, with you and your brother. I love the guest, the guest talks. Uh, I know we did a little less this year. I, mean, I know it's a lot of work for you guys, but it was kind of fun last year every week, or at least every other week, to see it's kind of an update and some smack talk. And, I mean, it was fun. I like that. Let's talk some basketball, man. Um, it's not really too much. I, I really want, don't want to get into um, – uh, fantasy matchups, who you think is going to win. Everybody's right now is getting hit by some type of bug with COVID. So right now we're all on the same playing field. The records at this point don't matter. Hell, you could be two and whatever and get all your people back next week and, hell, you'll be the, the favorite to win. So I, I don't think anybody's team is uh, is set. I don't think anybody has an advantage. Um, week to week, you know, it's, it changes based on who's healthy. So um, in reality – how do you feel about the Lakers right now? <laughs> I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I mean, that's damn. a that's a damn that's that's a donkey show over. That's horrible, man. All <laughs> that talent and you can't even. Man, I mean, they got they got more 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 injured players than my team. They're they're. I mean, it, it's fun to watch. I, I know I know you guys are Lakers fans. Uh, it, it's fun to watch. I, I'm an Anthony Davis fan. Uh, but yeah, it, it's fun to watch. Uh, you know, this, this fantasy year is kind of unlike any other year we've had. Uh, I, I think I had the 10th and 12th pick, and neither one of my picks are the top 25 in scoring this season. I don't have a top 25 score. There's a lot of guys that are in there that were picked in the 30th, 40th spot that now are in the top 15 in scoring. That So I, I think that's awesome. That, that means we got we got a league with a lot of upcomers coming up in the NBA and uh, a lot, lot of young, explosive players, and it's just fun to watch. So based off of what you've seen so far, who do you have coming out of the East and who do you have coming out of the West? I think the East, you can't ever count Brooklyn out. And then the West, you, I mean, you got, you got Clay Thompson come back for Golden State, I think. I mean, you got, you got Curry's going to break the right, break with Ray Allen's three-point record tonight. Here's Curry for the record. It's good! And there it is! Three-pointer, number 2974, the man who changed the game, the igniter of the three-point revolution of the NBA, and now he stands alone at the top of the three-point list. Uh, that's a fun team to watch. Uh, so, yeah, I'd have to go Golden State, uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, wow. So, you like Brooklyn over 
I mean, I'm, I'm sticking with your answer, of course. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing what you're saying, but I'm, I'm just verifying you like Brooklyn over Milwaukee, like straight up. I do. I, do. Uh, I, I think that when it gets down to nuts and bolts, uh, we've got, we've heard, uh, we hear Kyrie may come back. We've got Durant. I think if they're, everybody's healthy on that team, they're going to be tough to beat. But that Milwaukee team's pretty good. That's true. That's true. Um, I mean, I'm just just to throw my hat in the ring, man. I gotta go to say, come out of the West. I don't think it's close either. Um, as far as the East, man, something in, in me, man, is, is is something in me. Just I just think Brooklyn's gonna go down. It's just something about I don't I don't feel like they have the I don't know I don't I feel like they're missing a dog. They don't have like a dog. Everything's pretty like. Harden does this little pretty thing. He gets fouled, and oh my gosh, I got fouled. And then it's the rat shoots his little jumpers. You know, he, he dropped 50 the other night. He's still a beast. But I just feel like, I just don't feel like they have that dog on their team. You know, every NBA champion, every hard nosed team, they have a Draymond type. A workhorse. Man, huh? A workhorse. Your workhorse. Yeah, and I don't see it. Do the, the dirty job, take the yeah. charge, yeah. set the screen. Yeah, I don't see that, man. Uh, Blake Griffin tried to play the role last year in the playoffs of being that guy, but come on, man. Uh, Blake Griffin, the curly hair guy being your dog, I mean, that don't look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I kind of I, – I know this might sound crazy, but I kind of like Philly, man. I think Philly might emerge once they trade Ben Simmons. I know we have to go with what's currently constructed. So, they have Ben Simmons on their roster, but I think – at the five, I think right before the deadline, I think they're gonna get rid of him, and I think they're gonna get something for him. And I just like they don't. First of all, Brooklyn has nothing for Joel Embiid. They have nothing for him. I love that. I love Maxi. You've seen you've seen Maxi, man. X is balling. Yeah. Seth is shooting. Um, Tobias is clutch every night. I don't know, and I like their coach. I like Doc Rivers. You know, he, but he's, he's one of the great coaches in the league. Uh, yeah. Of course, Tobias and Maxi. I, I love Tobias. Uh, he's a great player. Yeah. Player, but yeah, uh, it'd be exciting to see what they get for Ben. I mean, uh, you got to give him credit for standing by, not not really just putting him to the side and not dealing with him. You know, he's got his own his little temper tantrum going, let him, let him do his own thing. So, I think I think it's great how they've handled it. But we'll 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 see if somebody will, what, what they'll give him for him. First, not keep butting heads about this, man. But who's the face of the NBA in your opinion? Who's the what? The face of the NBA. The face. Yeah, who's the face? In your opinion, you think oh, it's George? Yeah, George thinks it's still LeBron. I think it's Steph Curry. Who do you think's the face of the NBA? Uh, this year, I'd probably go Curry. I mean, that's. I mean, I'm watching Sports Center. I've got ESPN on. All they talk about is Curry. <laughs> that's, I mean, it just seems like every. Now, don't get me wrong. If you turn to undisputed, and if you basically turn to undisputed, they're talking about LeBron because. Skips can't stand them, so he just always likes to talk bad about them. But other than that, man, I, other shows they're talking about Curry, so I don't. Well, know. yeah, and if, if if you think about it, they were just talking the tickets for tonight. I guess they're playing at the Garden. The, the yeah. tickets are up eight hundred percent or whatever because he might break that record. But I, yeah. I think the ticket price would be up no matter what over the start of the season. Nobody thought Golden State was going to have the run they've had. Yeah. They don't even have Clay back. No. Which I, I I got Clay on my team, so I've read some stuff on it. And there, people are kind of worried what, how's Clay going to fit into this team. You know, these guys are all working on all cylinders. So it, I mean, hopefully Clay comes back soon, sooner than later. But uh, they they don't know how they're going to inject him into that. Office. This concludes our show to Ball to Your Fall. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Um, you either first or your last. So be first, my friends. See y'all later. Hey, I think something else is surprising is a, a picture of old uh, Zion down there in New Orleans. He's, what, 330-plus pounds now? Oh, man, he's uh, – yeah, he looks like Dan Aykroyd. Looks like the Michelin man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it's funny, too. They keep saying he has a setback, but everybody seems to believe that he's just too fat and they're just making up that story. Yeah, dude, that, that's a train wreck, man. That guy – I hope it works out for him, but it's, it don't look good. You think he's going to be a bust? Uh, that's what a lot of people are predicting. Wow. Wow. Uh, I, saw, I saw people comparing him to the guy that came out of Ohio State, uh, the big center guy. That we oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're comparing him to him. Greg Oden. Greg Oden, yeah. 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 He was the first wow. pick and never did shit.
That's true. That's true. But at least Greg Oden stayed in shape. He just had his, he was injury prone. But yeah, man, um, Zion looks really bad, man. I saw a picture of him, and somebody said, um, somebody said, oh, it was Skip Bayless. He reported that he uh, got a re- he has an inside source where it's worse than we know. He eats um, whole pizzas by himself, and he drinks sugary drinks all the time. Man, he needs he needs somebody the right person in his life that's gonna manage that for him. I mean, he can make a lot of money. He's got he's athletic. I mean, he's got all the talent in the world, but he's got to manage his body. That that's that's one thing you got to give LeBron credit for. LeBron's take care of his body. I mean, he surrounds himself with the best the best the healthcare, the best trainers yep. in the country, and that look like he's still at his age. He's still one of the top players in the game. That's something that I do give LeBron credit for is taking care of his body. I know. So several years ago, he bulked up a lot, and he, he dropped all that muscle to, to the wear and tear on his body, carrying that extra weight. So, got to. I mean, those guys, I mean, they're machines. They got to take care of their body. They're they're very talented, but they also got to take care of the wear and tear on their legs and arms and the beatings they take every night. <laughs>